In our last video, we showed you how crawfish are farmed. In this video, I'm going to show you a place you can visit and catch your own farm-raised crawfish. And the guy who runs it is awesome. So I know you will have a great time. We went to Miss Rowe's Bed and Breakfast, which is also known as Crawfish Haven. It's located near Kaplan, Louisiana. The owner is Mr. Barry Toops. He opened the inn in 2015. His friends asked him, Do you really think people will come to Kaplan to stay on a crawfish farm? Mr. Barry said, I guess we'll find out. Turns out the answer is yes. People from all over the world have come here to catch and eat crawfish and enjoy the Louisiana hospitality. Mr. Barry taught us a lot about both. When we showed up, he gave us a quick lesson about crawfish. Then we hopped in a side by side and went straight out to the boat in one of his ponds. He has 50 acres of dedicated crawfish ponds, meaning he does not use them for alternate crops. His setup allows him to be one of the first to get crawfish to market with his season starting in November and ending June 1st. This is Mr. Barry's crawfish boat. It's amphibious. It can go on land or water. The wheel in the back moves and steers the boat, and he controls it with his feet, leaving his hands free to work. He showed my dad what to do. Then I got a turn. First, the trap is pulled from the water. You give it a good shake and dump the crawfish onto this sorting table. If a crawfish isn't big enough, it falls between the bars and slides back into the water. Anything else that is not a crawfish gets thrown back into the water, too. That includes things like snakes and turtles. Females with eggs or babies go back into the pond, too. Only eating-sized crawfish make it from the table into the sack. The bait gets put back into the trap and the trap gets, goes back into the water. The steak holds it in place until next time. Mr. Barry makes it look easy, but we weren't so smooth. What we lacked in speed, we made up for in fun. There are two main species of crawfish in Louisiana. These are the red swamp crawfish. The other type are called White River Crawfish. The number of crawfish in a pound vary depending on size. It can be anywhere from 10 to 30 crawfish per pound. If a crawfish manages to escape predators, it can live two to three years. Farming crawfish is part science, part art, and part luck with the weather. We ran about 50 traps and ended up with this sack full of crawfish. Want to guess how much it weighed? I'll give you the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This, this sack of crawfish weighed 28 pounds. They will be washed and cleaned for another time. For tonight's crawfish boil, this batch has been prepped and is ready to go. Mr. Barry not only runs the inn and farms crawfish, he is a well-known cook and caters to events and gatherings. This pavilion seats up to a hundred people. The night of our visit, it hosted a church group and we were invited to stay and eat. While the crawfish cooker was heating up, Mr. Barry told us a more about crawfish. You'll hear me talking a lot too. I was pretty excited. We pump from the ground, it aerates the water. We run it through screens, it aerates the water. So great. It's great. Yes, yes. If it doesn't do that, it doesn't have enough oxygen? Yeah. So we went out in the boat, we did this already, so y'all saw that? Yep, kind of like what I recorded. Learn knowledge. Knowledge, please. Not knowledge. Catching my boat, harvesting, okay. Stack, swap, wow. rat. Here's a crawfish with eggs on the tail. Here's a crawfish where the eggs are hatching. You stay attached to the mama for up to two weeks. Okay. 
One female can carry up to 500 eggs. Okay, um, Moldy did for There's you. There's a baby crawfish. Okay, baby crawfish. Crawfish have a lot of predators. Otters, minks, coons, possums, whatever, birds. And whatever the world is. Bullfrogs. It's okay to weed the bullfrogs too. And whatever in the world this is, I guess. You know what's that number one predator? What? You. Cajun. <laughs> you, Eve, and the, num and the number zero predator is humans. I guess that's further beyond the limit. And here's the day. My best day was 1,250 pounds, but this is a 515 pound day. A hundred, okay. Double this. You we had some time before the other guests arrived, so I got to explore the gift shop. He also has a gazebo that overlooks a pond with bass and bream that guests can fish. There are crawfish in this pond, too. Mr. Barry will te even teach you how to catch them the old Cajun way with nets on a stick. Soon, it was time for the crawfish to come out of the cooker. Mr. Barry hits them with a little more spice before they rest in a holding bin. Before long, it was time to eat. I held one, but I didn't try eating one. That didn't stop me from having lots of fun. That is the magical thing about crawfish. You are almost guaranteed to have a good time at a crawfish boil. Soon, Dad's fingers got too messy to operate the camera, so no more footage from that night. The next morning, Mr. Barry was off to Baton Rouge, before sunup for a special ceremony. Like the presidential pardon of a turkey at Thanksgiving, each year the lieutenant governor of Louisiana pardons a crawfish. That crawfish is raised at Crawfish Haven and travels to the state capitol for the special ceremony. This year's pardon crawfish has the name of Arago, and he was released in the swamps of a state park after the ceremony. This fun event is used to highlight and honor the seafood industry of Louisiana. For us, it was another example of just how deeply ingrained the crawfish is into a Louisiana culture. The numbers back that up. 1,600 Louisiana crawfish farmers produce 150 million pounds of crawfish each year. That is a lot of crawfish, and that is a lot of fun. If you want to have some fun of your own, check out Crawfish Haven. We had a ball there, and there is lots to see and do in the area. Thank you, Mr. Barry. We had a great stay. We learned a lot and made some great memories. See you on our next adventure.